LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And let me tell you, do something. Let me tell you, do something. You take this ride with the coach. Take this ride with the coach, and that's just the way that is. Okay, so there's been a buzz. There's been a big buzz going on about Mackenzie Dern. And I'm going to have to admit, Mackenzie Dern, um, she definitely is a talent, man. She's a talent. And this girl definitely has a lot of skill sets, and she got the talent to be really good. But see, here's what I'm beginning to see. And more and more, when the articles start popping up about Mackenzie Dern, more and more in these articles, they talk about this girl. You know, the media, they're definitely sexually sensationalizing Mackenzie Dern. And I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen, okay? And y'all ain't got to believe it, but this is what I see going, okay? This girl... She's going to win some fights, okay? She's going to win some fights, and she's going to start getting real braggadocious because she kind of almost like that right now. She's going to get braggadocious, um, and she's going to start out whipping people's ass, and we're going to get a really cold barometer of what she can really do because the level of competition isn't going to be, you know, the level of competition, and everybody's going to start saying that, oh, this girl is the one. This girl is it. And then what's going to happen? Okay, because they're going to put her into the UFC. I'm trying to tell y'all. I already know that she's going to get into the UFC because this girl early on is going to be a big money maker for the UFC because, you know, she's not unattractive. She looks nice. She's shaped nice. And people are going to want to look at her for eye candy. And she's going to be like another Paige Van Zandt. She gonna be, and I got another video coming about Paige Van Zandt. But that's what's going to happen. And so then, you know... She gonna get in there and whoop up on some people who don't have a lot of skill set. And what's gonna happen too is that the UFC, they're going to promote some people and they're gonna promote some people that we ain't ever heard of. We ain't ever seen them nowhere, we, but they're gonna promote them. And these people, they're gonna be used so uh, Mackenzie Dern can get in there and beat the hell out of them. That's what she gonna do. And then she's gonna climb atop the rankings, beating people who don't really deserve it. We can't compare Mackenzie Dern to Ronda Rousey. You know, I don't really care much for Ronda Rousey, but I will say this, okay? At least Ronda Rousey, at least she did fight, you know, within some of that span that she was a, a champion. She fought, she fought people who were tough competitors. It's just some of them she did, she dismantled them pretty easy. I mean, she beat Misha Tate two times, okay? I mean, Misha Tate is a world-class opponent. She beat, uh, she beat Kat Zingano. Kat Zingano is a world-class opponent. See, Mackenzie Dern, you know, hasn't faced any that didn't have that kind of opposition. But my fear is, you know, this kid got so much talent, is that they're gonna put her in there. I'm telling y'all what's gonna happen. Mackenzie gonna get in there, she's gonna beat up on some people, and then they're gonna put her in there with a solid competitor. And that solid competitor gonna beat the wheels off her. Watch. She's not gonna be able to take him down. That that solid competitor is gonna beat the brakes off Mackenzie Dern. And then you're going to see the same thing happen to Mackenzie Dern as it did with every other hype job in the UFC. And then, you know, she is going to get peers when we don't see her no more. Okay, we're not going to see her for peers at a time. Okay, and this girl, whenever she take a tough fight, she's going to lose. If they don't develop this girl properly. I'm telling you, the girl got holes in her game and a really good striker with good footwork. They're going to be able to avoid her. They're going to be able to avoid her, and she is very susceptible to head kicks. Very susceptible. Okay? Her defense and striking defense is, is lacking. and But she's young. The girl is so young. But they're going to be so interested in trying to pimp this girl. And that's what the UFC is going to do to her. They're going to pimp this girl. Mackenzie Dern is going to get pimped. They're going to pimp her. They're going to put her in every magazine. And, hell, they might even have the girl doing pornography before it's over. And many of you, uh, many of you, booty breath, booger breath, uh, popcorn, pop tart farts, go buy the, uh, go, you, you know, you guys go buy the, buy the tape. You go buy the, you go buy the tape for. Her. You go subscribe to her website. That's what y'all to do. But I'm telling y'all, they're gonna pimp this girl and pimp this girl, and she is going to be nothing. She may get her a good payday. She may get one good payday, and then after that, it, it, it's a wrap. I hope that I'm wrong about this. I hope that. They don't put this girl into the UFC right away. I hope they don't do it. I hope they don't put her in there with any of those killers at strawweight because they're going to beat the hell out of her. I mean, the, the top 10 upper echelon strawweights in the UFC, she ain't going to be able to get them down and submit them. It's not going to happen. 
I mean, you got girls who know who know submission defense, who girls has got takedown defense, and they've been doing it for years. Now I'm not saying that Mackenzie Derns, you know, BJJ, you know, world class experience. I ain't saying that that's not it's not better than theirs. But see, when you get into an octagon versus you know a mat, and, and you're just grappling, see, it's different. You got kicks, you got punches, you got all kind of things. Elbows coming at you. You got these things coming at you, and so this sometimes can negate very good Brazilian jiu-jitsu. This can sometimes negate all of that, and it can most of the time neutralize it if the person is a very good striker and if they have good footwork. I'm talking about a decent jab, a decent jab and a good push kick. Mackenzie Dern won't even be able to make a move. She'll be completely defenseless fighting any of the top ten at strawweight. I'm, hell, it's even a couple of, I mean, it's a couple of them ranked probably at 15th that could deal with her right now. But I'm just saying, this this is the trend. And Mackenzie Dern is a hot topic. I mean, if you Google her name, everywhere you see this girl taking her clothes off, this girl showing her behind, showing part of her boob, I mean, she doing it all. And that is a recipe to get your ass whooped. We're going to be seeing her. She gonna, it's going to be a post-fight. Hey, Mackenzie Nair might be saying, well, you know, I need to do this. And this girl might have an eye closed shut trying to look at you, uh, you know, with a patch over her eye. I'm just trying to tell y'all. I, I, I don't like it because this is another young talent that's going to get destroyed. This is somebody with a lot of hope and promise who, at the end of the day, they're going to get their face in the dirt. And they're, they're, they're not going to be confident after they take their first loss. They're just not. Fighters like Mackenzie Dern, they really need to grow. And I don't think she need to be in the UFC. I think Mackenzie Dern need to wait about 10 fights. And I'm talking about fighting lower-level opponents, man, fighting these people, gaining experience, like really putting a harder opponent in front of your face each time, taking a step up slowly. But we in that kind of attitude mentality now where we don't want to, you know, we, we don't want to wait for anything. But, you know, the coach trying to tell them. The coach tried, and I hope Mackenzie Dern team, they can hit us, but uh, she definitely on, on a way to getting an ass whooped. That, folks, that, that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. I know some of y'all in love with Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern won't give many of you the time of day. I know many of you, the keyboard at your house is very, is messed up right now because you've been looking at photographs of Mackenzie. I know that's how you guys roll, but you got to, look, take Think about this for a minute. You'll have Mackenzie Dern until she's 33 until her getting out of the game when she's 26. I mean, think about this. If her team would follow this game plan that the coach trying to help them with. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back and I'm going to make me a video and I'm going to say, I tried to tell y'all. I'm going to say, I tried to tell y'all. But it's just, for some reason, people just don't want to listen to the coach. And the coach be trying to tell people, man, the, the handwriting on the wall. The handwriting is on the wall, and it's written in cursive. Ass whooped. You guys tell me what you think about this, man. Because I keep hearing, seeing the articles, the girl, you know, being talked about getting signed by the UFC. Psh, bad move. Bad move right now. Bad move. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.